Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de la Lande. La Lande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. Good morning from the lockdown at La Lande. I'd like to apologise for the nighty that I'm wearing. It's maybe not the most glamorous one in my cupboard, but it was so cold last night, freezing. Our heating is still broken and it was minus three. The good news is that I must have lost so many calories just staying alive that I feel I'm entitled to chocolate cake for breakfast. It's medicinal, it's to replace the missing calories. Hello, Marie! Hi, Steph. Here comes the basket! <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fit! Just squash it! Thank you! I love the basket. How are you getting on? Very good. See you later. Mm -hmm. Bye. This is not the most exciting of parcels. I'm pretty sure it's an HDMI cable, but it's easily the best way of receiving it. I am crazily happy to be back downstairs in the house and out of quarantine because I hadn't actually been down here for six weeks. I was away for one month before my quarantine started. It is good to see the chateau again. I am dressed not that warmly, if I'm honest, but that's because I have finally filmed a tour of the chateau. So tomorrow I will be putting out the first part of the walkthrough of La Lande. A lot of you have been asking for it for a long time. So I have a lot of editing to do this afternoon. Fingers crossed, I should get it all done on time. And you'll also notice that I've made a new opening sequence for my videos, and this is the first video that it will be on, so please let me know what you think of it. I know a lot of people come to my videos have no idea what's going on or who anyone is, so I thought it'd be nice to just introduce people to the chateau and to the people in it. I'm very, very curious to hear what you have to say about it. Today's my first day walking around the house and it seems there's been a bit of a sinistre in the Marquis' apartment whilst I was in quarantine. The window hadn't been properly shut and there was such a draught that it forced it open. And sadly, the tea set has bitten the dust. Which is a shame, I really like that one. So now I'm going to have to go on eBay and see if I can find a replacement coffee pot and another cup. Mummy's pretty upset. My favourite one. It's always your favourite one, Mummy. That's because you have many, many favourites. But it is a truly lovely one, this. Yes, it was given to me years ago. I'll find a replacement. Coalport Revelry in Adam Green. Revelry. Yes. It's not the right... Well, let's be jolly, Mummy. Let's not cry over spilt porcelain. It was my favourite. <laughs> it's always your well, favourite. Well, exactly. When I lose something, it was my favourite. Yes, I hate losing things. This is a heartbreaking sight. I am not broken. Look. And I'm frozen too. Poor little handle. Yes. But in these days, you know, where things happen. I think so. <laughs> I think this is not the end of the world. We've lost two saucers, one cup, and the entire coffee pot. We must treasure the little cup that lived. The survivor. <laughs> The loveliest, loveliest thing about being out of quarantine is that Mummy and I can finally eat together in the kitchen. And we're celebrating by having my favourite food, nems. And in France, Vietnamese spring rolls are always served in a particular way and Mummy is going to show us how to do it. I take a leaf big enough to wrap the nem in and... I put little things that I like, like mint. It's always traditional to put mint in it. Unfortunately, the garden mint is this. Usually <laughs> I would put a lot more. But anyway, we have this and that's a good thing. So I've got my mint. I wrap 
them very nicely. I have made a mixture of gnocchi, which is fish sauce, lemon juice, and I have also put a little bit of sushi sauce. I dip and I eat. As simple as that. And I am going to join you immediately. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. And as an extra celebration, we are using my new beautiful Spode Blue Room plates. My parcel is ready. Absolutely delicious. Time to go outside and see what Mummy's been up to. What a vision, Mummy. Thank you. Why are you carrying a nail brush? Because I need to wash my hands anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's going to do a great job without water. <laughs> As you can see, Selmar's van has moved because he didn't have Wi-Fi where he was. So he was trying to get closer to the house for internet. Right, let's go and discover what you've been what? up to. No. Oh, no. I'm not asking you to work, Mummy. I have uh, taken out the brambles from Excellent. the wall because they were growing into the vine, but I've got a long way to go. Okay, but I, I'm less interested in the things you've removed than in the things you've put in that we can eat. Ah. <laughs> That's the things I'm really interested oh, really? in. <laughs> the onions are coming up. What a difference! Last time we were out here, there was nothing. Coming on. They're um, red, white, yellow and garlic. Yes, hurrah! I love onion. Hmm. See, these... No thing coming just yet. Yeah. You're wrong, Mummy. Are they? Yes, they're coming up. I can't see. Oh, I can see There's one. several. Almost that entire row is up. Don't know what a Stuttgart reason is, but we'll be having several. And is anything wrong in here? No. Yes. Yes. Mummy, they're all coming up. Can you oh, not shallots. see them? They're little shallots. Yes, they're all coming up. Longo shallots. And these, the big ones? Oh, well, they are the... Um, chives. Chives, yes. So you can pick chives. Mmm. As soon as I'm properly out of quarantine and in the kitchen, we'll be having chives in lots of delicious ways. This is horseradish. Horseradish, I love the horseradish. We have a bit too much. I have taken some out, but it's a very, one has to dig. Quite. Well, look, some is right on the surface here. We could get hold of that. Hens are very happy in their new housing department. Well, yes, well, we had to put the hens in a pen because they kept getting eaten and it wasn't fair on them. We wanted to keep them free range, but well, it was only a choice between life and death in the end. So we have three cockerels and one chicken. Bizarrely, they live very peacefully together. We'll be getting more chickens and they live in the house. There, you can see that hole that goes into that house. One third of that is entirely theirs. And we're going to make this area bigger and move it along a little more along here so that they have more space and they can peck away against the wall. Yes, things are taking shape, but frankly, it's a lot, 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 lot of work. Yes, because our cleaner, Mary Poppins, who's amazing, used to do a lot of the gardening and she's not coming during lockdown. Yeah, so... We have to make what we can, but anyway, you have no guests coming this year, so uh, we don't need that many vegetables. No, and we've got all the soft fruits. I saw the rhubarb has started. Yes, very small still. Let's go and look at the rhubarb. Here it comes. I'll uh, put manure around it and all that. And did you see the other two are coming up as well? Yes. They're both coming up, although they're absolutely tiny. They need cleaning and they need manuring. And what are these? They are her raspberries. And it's a golden raspberry. Yes. And then the rest are black currants, red black currants. Currants, currants, currants. Blueberries. Blueberries we have here the too. Blueberries are there. there. But, um, and gooseberries we have too. Yes. Quite a lot of these soft fruit bushes are quite small because we only planted them last year. 
This is the red currant bush. We seem to grow them just for the peacocks, you know. Well, the peacocks need a bit of fun too. This is our strawberry bed. It's in rather a poor state because there's no one to weed it. <laughs> but the strawberries are alive and well. Where are we going now? Oh, there's sorrel over here. Should we go and see the sorrel and the fennel? Here we have the sorrel. And as soon as I'm back in the kitchen, we're going to have fish with sorrel sauce. Oh, okay, that's good. The two peacocks are on the roof behind you. Oh yes, they are. <laughs> you see the fennel. I might have a little piece of fennel now, actually. Fresh aniseedy deliciousness. Chard. Yeah. And that's what you had last night. <laughs> At the end of their life. We have one artichoke plant. We tried, we keep planting artichokes and they all keep dying. But this one is the miracle that survived. Here we have parsley and coriander. Mm, my favourite. We're cutting them a bit for the time being. And I see a little bit of parsley broke free. Yes. From last year. I have um, cleaned the old pots and we have things in it. Things, excellent. See? I can see there are things. Do you have any idea what the things are? Not all of them. <laughs> and this is for the um, arches. Ah, oh, the beans for the arches. You see, they're growing nicely. They are, they're getting quite big. I've got ginger here. I oh. don't know. I have to protect it because something has been eating the top of it. Oh, I see it. You do. The top doesn't look very green. Yeah, it was green. Mm. That's why I put that here. Well, I think that that's not actually stopping anything. Because there's a big hole, Mummy, on this side. Oh, is there? They're yeah, huge. Eh? And here we've got a few radishes starting. Oh, Nicholas oh. will eat every single one if left to his own devices. Ooh, every single a, one. A look, you see just there. Oh, they're coming up. They're coming up, tiny, tiny. But um, I think what is coming up is last year's uh, tomatoes, which have seeded themselves. Well, that would be great. There's plenty. I think that's what they are. Laxper, they look very much like tomatoes to me. And uh, striped beetroots. Do they also look like tomatoes? Don't they just? <laughs> <laughs> Des oeillets d'Inde. Marigolds. Marigold look very much like uh, <laughs> seedlings of tomatoes. <laughs> I'm not sure. Until they develop further, I will not be able to tell. I think there's a definite difference in them. That seed under the larkspur section does not look the same as this one under the striped beetroot. No, there's definitely more than one thing afoot here, Mummy. Yes, I hope so, because I did plant and more tomatoes here. So we, we should be self-sufficient very soon. Oh, the chervil's doing very well. If it is chervil, sweetheart. Well, you say it's chervil. Yes, I planted chervil. And you think that's not chervil? I've no idea. It looks very much like... It doesn't look like tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but Mummy, it's in a straight line. They wouldn't have seeded themselves in no. a straight line. No, no, no. I think we're good. Good. You look very fetching in here, Mummy. But it's nice and warm in here, isn't it? Again, you look magnificent. Thank you. Thank you. As you can see, it's a vari variation on the... The cold get-up. A variation on a theme. Just that... a few layers taken away. Hmm. Yes. <sighs> Percy doesn't know what he's missing. <laughs> what are we going to eat tonight? You know, it's not my favourite pastime. <laughs> Chefing. I'm loving it. I am loving every minute. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you beans. No, 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 no. I wouldn't love it so much then. <laughs> <laughs> Have you lost Daddy? <laughs> Don't cry. Look at the poor darling. He's looking for his Daddy. No, he's all right. He's gone for a shower. <laughs> No, don't worry. 
Fidani Ishfan. Oh, Nashley. Isn't it perceptive? Yes. He's just gone to take a shower, Diesel. He'll be back any minute now. Yeah. He'll be back and he'll smell like a fresh rose. Yes, he will. And then it will be your turn to have a shower. Marie is blocked because under social distancing measures, she can't get between me and mummy to go past the house. <laughs> All right, let's move this triangle around. <laughs> I'm finishing the pie and I'll bring it to you. Marie's made banoffee pie. Marie, I'm wildly excited. <laughs> well, my first day out of quarantine has been glorious. And already looking at the sky, I can see that there are rays of hope for the future. A huge thank you to all of our patrons at Lalande who are making this vlog possible, especially our Marquise and Marquise of Lalande, Daniela, Laura de Murray, Caroline Furster, Brenda Gibbons, Maureen Palmer, Brian Woodward and David Young. And thank you to all of you.